Live from Ohio University, you're watching WOUB2, television for Athens County. Three top-level Athens city leaders could see salary increases, and you'll never guess where the money's coming from. Find out how local law enforcement is using social media to better connect with the community. And OU administrators will make a trip to Washington, D.C. Find out what they hope to get out of it, coming up on Athens Midday. You hardly ever hear of someone giving up a pay raise so another person can get an increase in pay. Good afternoon, I'm Emily Hanford. And I'm Caleb Troop. It's even more rare when the person making that sacrifice is a politician. But that was just the case at last night's Athens City Council meeting. Athens Midday reporter Justin Sampson is live in the newsroom with this extraordinary story. It is rare that such a thing would happen, but... Members of the Athens City Council say their sacrifice is for the greater good. And that greater good is making sure those who run the day-to-day -day affairs of the city be properly compensated for that work. As a member of City Council, Jim Sand says it's the board's job to determine salaries of future office holders. We're all elected officials, so for the next election, uh, we say that from this point on, the salary will be X. The City Council introduced an ordinance last night that would increase the salaries of the auditor and law director by 2% over the next two years. The mayor would receive a 1% raise. Each council member was able to make room for this increase by foregoing their own salary increases. You don't notice it, you don't see any mention of council in here. Council has decided that we would recommend that our compensations remain the same. The city recently granted local union workers a 2% raise which was used as a guideline for the proposed raise of elected officials. The raise would give the mayor about a $3,000 raise over the course of the next two years and is one that Sands says is very manageable for the city of Athens. The ordinance does not affect current office holders, but whomever would hold the positions after the next election. Except for treasurer, 2011 marks the end of every elected official's term. Sands says the motivation comes from the fact that elected officials have only one source of income. We do realize that the mayor, the auditor, the law director um, are full-time employees of the city. Theirs is a full-time job. Reporting for Athens Midday, I'm Justin Sampson. City Council members voted unanimously last night to forfeit their own raises in favor of elected officials for the next term. All right, thank you, Justin. Check out Athens Midday's website for a closer look at why full-time elected officials needed the pay raise. City Council also talked about salaries of firefighters last night. Law Director Pat Lang presented Council with a new three-year contract for firefighters. The Firefighters Union rejected a previous agreement. The new proposal provides more money, but also requires firefighters to pay more for health care. City Council will hear the proposed contract two more times before voting on it. The Nelsonville Water Department issued a boil water order. Residents from Burr Oak Boulevard, from High Street up to Criffield Drive, Star Drive, Hillside Drive, Woodland Drive, Sylvania Avenue, Carbon, Booktill Road, the village of Booktill is affected until further notice. People living in those areas affected are urged to bring drinking water to full boil before use. According to the Athens News, the former mayor of Chansey is seeking as much as $500,000 from the village. Former Mayor Ginger Mender claims she was denied access to public records even after getting permission from the village solicitor earlier this month. This is Mender's third lawsuit pending against the village. Mender resigned as mayor in 2009. Ohio University's Student Senate has a new website and it is not affiliated with the OU webpage. The goal of this project is to be more accessible to the Athens community as well as OU students. The website features calendars of upcoming events. Another perk is that meetings can be scheduled with a student Senate representative right online. There are links to Senate members, rules of the Senate, and projects underway. Matthew Bedingfield, the Vice President of Student Senate, helped develop the site. Uh, we have a Facebook, Twitter, and a YouTube page. 
Um, and uh, we link to all of them through our, our website. And um, I mean, we've had, um, you know, the blog and um, these other pages, but we haven't really gotten the recognition that we would like to from them. So I think that with the website, it'll definitely help advertise them a little bit more. To submit your ideas to Student Senate or to see what they're doing right now, you can access this website at www.oustudentsenate.com. You probably heard as a kid the police are your friends. Well now, thanks to technology, they can be your Facebook friends too. In Athens County, the sheriff is using social media to get the word out about criminals, new laws, emergencies, and lots more. Athens Midday reporter Kirsty Zantini joins us now with how this is helping the sheriff get better connected. Kirsty. Well, Sheriff, Sheriff Patrick Kelly has had a Facebook account since 2009, but after being elected, he decided to use it for the good of the city. And he says it seems to be working. I think I'm at 39, 79 now. That is the number of Facebook friends Athens Sheriff Patrick Kelly has. Sheriff Kelly is using his Facebook to quickly update the public on weather and crime-related topics. And I was able to... It, put our, my program on Facebook and let people see exactly what we were doing and that's education, prevention and enforcement. At Ohio University, OU Senate President Jesse Nieder says he thinks the sheriff's use of Facebook is helping students. Um, and so that's where the students are and I think that that's very important. I think that it's a good utilization of that, that tool. With just a click of a button, Sheriff Kelly can update all of his Facebook friends. But he says that isn't the only way he's communicating with the public. It doesn't take the place of our local media, and I still work with our local media in, in press conferences and stuff, but if I have to get like a missing person out, I can't wait until uh, the media publishes or whatever. OU Dean of Students Ryan Lombardi has his own Twitter and Facebook account, but he thinks it takes more than social networking to keep students and citizens updated. But I think with anything, you're always going to have to hit them through multiple, medi multiple mediums um, just to make sure you're covering your bases as much as possible. The Sheriff's Department isn't the only one tapping into social sites. OU Police Chief Andrew Powers says his department is also considering the use of social media. Powers also says that the Facebook page will offer important information, but OUPD doesn't plan on using it as a primary source to notify students of emergencies. Reporting live for Athens Midday, I'm Kirsty Zantini.